It needed to be. Man, so I mean, let's start over, man. Introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name is Dean Williams, the Boss Warrior. I'm a boss champion of boxing. In uh, 1980, American Tipton in Wales. And uh, I'm also a cruiserweight uh, world champion in 2001. Um, I had a journey, I earned the name, the, the Road Warrior, well, the Welsh Road Warrior, it looked me up, Google me, I'm on YouTube, I'm there, why not? And, uh, the name also was, in the Creed movie. Absolutely, in the Creed 2, part of Team Bravo. Um, you know, so I just you know, inspired many more champions too. I've been a champion myself, but I was in the ring with the likes of uh, you know, the people. You know, great players, Riley Holmes, I was fan partner for Riley Holmes, I was fan partner for two-time heavyweight champion, Tim Witherspoon, I was partner for uh, one of my idols, uh, Thomas the Hitman Williams, before he got ready for his fight with Nate Miller. So, you know, all, all, all of my dreams come true, like, you know, dreams really do come true, but you got to believe in yourself, don't worry about what other people, I always tell youngsters, don't worry about what people say, it don't matter. What matters at the end of the day is, uh, you know, uh, God first, and, and uh, you know your your family, and uh, you, you know yourself and your focus, and uh, you, you really, you know, focus and discipline is going to get you in, you know, take the places in life. You know what I'm saying? So, but you need the two. You know, have the discipline and no focus, uh, you can discipline in the wrong, you know, aspects, wrong things. So, focus and discipline, keep it straight, and uh, take your places. You know, so. We got all of these fighters in the room, and Mark, you were part of this conversation now. We got all of these fighters in the room, and what I'm witnessing is the fact that everybody is trying to implement and show each other their styles. They're trying to show how each other's style would work against each other's style. But what was amazing to me is that by everybody being boxers, but slash real fighters, there was no egos involved. There was no attitudes. Nobody wanted to fight. And that's, I don't want to say it's unheard of, but it's just not what you would think it would be in a room full of fighters. So what we were talking about, can you explain to me why it's like that from your point of view? Fighting is a lifestyle. And, uh, you know, you're risking yourself every time you get in the ring. Put your heart in the soul. Put your life on the line. So you're humble. It's humbleness.